A hard party in high school senior's philosophy on life changes when he meets a not-so-typical nice girl. This is my movie review for The Spectacular Now. So if you haven't seen my book review for The Spectacular Now, then you should know that I thought the book was a really good read. Um, it got a almost perfect score for me. And uh, I was really excited to see the movie because I heard good things about the movie as well. But for some reason the movie didn't come in my area because I think it was in limited release. Possibly, but I don't know. So I decided a few days ago to um, watch it on the internet to see if it would make my top 15 list. And as it turns out guys, The Spectacular Now is a really good movie in my opinion. It's a really good coming of age movie. The good points. The thing that I liked about um, the movie was that, like with the book, it wasn't your typical, um, stereotypical um, teen movie. Because it was really mature, like with the subject matter that it had and everything with um, alcohol, with family problems, with sex and with um, young adult life basically. So I thought the movie had a great um, mix of comedy and drama with more drama um, to make the movie um, mature as it was but enough comedy just to have enough co comic relief. I thought that the directing, the writing, and the acting were great in their own ways but um, when all three were put together they made the movie like really genuine because of how mature it was and it, it made it as realistic as um, it, it could to like a, a um, real scenario with a teen and everything. Speaking of the acting, the acting was really good. Um, Miles Teller, who is from movies like Project X and 21 and Over, was in this movie and this, um, from what I know, was his first serious role and he played a really good um, lead acting um, role and it, he was basically in the movie this alcoholic um, teen who likes to party and have a good time and everything and the way um, his character changes throughout and what Miles Teller did with um, his character was really good I thought and the same thing goes with Shailene Woodley who plays um, Amy Finicky and what Amy's character is is this um, shy, a little bit awkward, cute, nerdy person who likes to read comics and manga and science fiction, and she likes to draw as well. And the way her character changes throughout the movie was really good as well, and what Shailene Woodley did with her character was good. As for the writing, I thought that the writing was really good because it adapted the book really well. It left some parts out, like. Um, actually it changed a lot of parts, which I felt um, wasn't necessary for the movie because of the time frame that the movie had. But what the writers did, um, adapting from the book and onto um, the screen was really good, I thought. I thought that the um, cinematography was good. It had some interesting camera shots and everything, and I thought um, it was creative at some moments. The film also had some good pacing and editing with the scenes. Um, put together. The final good thing I'll say about The Spectacular Now is that the movie really has good themes about life and everything and where life is going and everything. It has good themes. The bad points. There was really only one problem that I had with the movie and the, that problem was with these time jumps that happened because the movie um, takes place in a year I think and um, there are these time jumps throughout the, the um, relationship between Sutter and Amy and um, it seemed to evolve like quicker than we imagined it to like evolve from because um, they go out on the first few dates and everything but then like there's this like time jump I think because for some reason their, their um, relationship goes to the next level and it just felt weird to me and then uh, like um, does another time jump and it seems like their relationship goes to the next level and that just felt a little bit weird in my opinion. So my rating for The Spectacular Now is a 3.75 out of 4 stars. I thought it was a really good adaptation from the book but um, the 
um, evolution of the relationship felt a little bit weird to me because of the time jumps that happened. But still, I think it's a really good movie, and if you have the time, I think you should go see it when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. Alright, spoilers for this particular now. If you haven't read the book, then um, I think you should read the book first because there are like major differences between the book and the movie. But if you've only seen the movie, um, then stay if you want to. But if you haven't seen the movie and you just want to see the movie, then get out for now. So um, the only thing I'll spoil about the movie is the ending because there is a really big difference from the ending of the book and the ending from the movie. Um, the ending from the book is that Sutter goes to the bar and um, talks to a group of people while in the movie it's um, Sutter talking to just this one person about the decisions that he's made with Amy and if um, he should still go out with her and and um, talking to this guy about if it's the right thing to do and everything. Um, so in the book he's talking to the group of people and everything and they tell him, yeah, you're right and everything, you're a hero and everything. And then, in the book, um, Sutter gives his like final thoughts as he's leaving the bar and goes out in the street. And the movie, I mean, not the movie, the book ends there. And it's like, whoa, what? The book ends there? Because I guess Tim Tharp, who's the author of the book, wanted you to decide if Sutter went down the good path or the bad path. While in um, the movie, it's definitive. Sutter gets his life back on track and everything. He's um, trying to be a good person now and everything. And um, in the ending of the movie, um, he surprises Amy at college when he goes to Philadelphia and surprises her. Um, and they just stare at each other and they nod and smile at each other and the movie ends. And I thought that that was a really good ending. I wouldn't have ended it any other way because of how I felt about the ending and I thought that the ending was really awesome because it was like yeah that's a good decision. So that's my review for this particular now. I hope you guys enjoyed that review. Um, I think that the movie is better than the book because of how the book ended if you haven't um, seen my review for the book. But other than that guys, that's it.